What's going on, everybody? Come back. I'm going to have a little tip, trick, whatever you want to call it, for knives. All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. All right, I admit I use my knives for work several times. Um, and what happens is when you're cutting up boxes and tape, you get this on the end of your knife. See if you can see that. That's that wonderful packing tape glue. Got it all over the CRKT. Both CRKTs. I just realized both CRKTs got used this past week. So what I'm doing is I'm going to clean these up uh, for this week. I don't know that I'll use both of them this week, but I'm going to definitely use one. Now what I use is Goo Gone clean this stuff off always remember to do this make sure the sharp edge is away from you away from your fingers now I'm gonna take because that's a little thicker than I thought it was a piece of tape we'll get that off of there now I'll take and get any residual glue off of that blade as you can see no more residual glue uh, see that's where okay this little these marks right here are from catching a staple in a box those suck mean staples hang on a second okay sorry um now what i'll do is i'll wipe as much as that goo be gone goo gone off now, i'm not being paid by any of these people to use their products i just this is what i use um i always use ballast all in my blades it works great on my guns. Why not use it on the blades too to keep them lubricated and keep them from rusting. And I'll take that ballast all, wipe it on there nice and heavy. Um, you can strop it before you do that, but that blade is in pretty darn good shape and does not need stropping. That Those marks happened a while ago, so that's why I'm not worried about those marks anymore. Now this big old chisel blade, you see the stuff on it and i'm gonna tell you something you would think this knife I, I i wasn't a big fan of the chisel blade at first i love this knife let's see we got a little bit on there still all right it's all gone as you can see no more nasty packing tape glue let's get a little more ballast on here rub it across it all of my um, and my hard car high carbon steel knives I coat with that ballast oil. So there we go. And any excess, you don't want to keep them soaking wet, but you can see it's on there because it's glistening and it's getting into the metal. So that's a good thing. And you know how ballast oil works. All right, guys. So that's just a simple little trick I do. Y'all might have a better trick, or you may use the same trick. I don't know. But I wanted to show you that. But I used Goo Gone. Um, there's other products as long as it doesn't wipe off any of the finishes and stuff. And most of that stuff doesn't do that. doesn't harm your finishes. So that's why I use Ballastol. And that's why I use Goo Gone. Because it's actually made using oranges. So, you know, there it is. All right, guys. That's it. Quick, simple. little trick I do with my knives when I'm cleaning them up from the work week. Sometimes I do this on Friday evening if we're not going out anywhere and just hanging out. I'll come out to the garage before Live PD comes on and <laughs> clean up my knives. All right, guys, that's it. Be prepared.